Jello babies! 안녕하세요. This is Ava from Glow with Ava and welcome to my channel today. I know in this channel we always focus on skincare, beauty, and lifestyle, but today we are actually getting into more of the fashion part of things because I just get asked a lot about this on my Instagram stories. So I figured I would just do a one full holistic video on my hat collection. I am someone who's always loved hats. I love all different kinds of hats. I do not discriminate bucket hats, caps, sun hats, you name it. So I don't have my full hat collection, but I do have, you know, about 15 of my most worn hats for all year long. So with that, let's begin and talk about my hats. Okay, the first category is gonna be caps and I literally have like 50 caps but I did want to show you guys just five of my most worn caps like the past few months and ones I probably will be wearing for a very long time as well. Alright, so the first one is this corduroy beige cap. I got this in Korea last year at a shop called De Pound. It's in the heart of Itaewon. And I just thought that everything they had was super cute and I've always been looking for a nice like corduroy one so I got this for around 50 bucks and I have been wearing this non-stop. I feel like the beige goes with every single color. The frame looks really good. It fits me well. Even my husband sometimes borrows it because you can um, adjust it here in the back. But I feel like this is your sign to get a corduroy hat like this right okay next one is a red cap i feel like red has been so trending especially with like red sweatsuits matching sweatpants and all of that lately and you know what red is my favorite color i love having a pop of red when the, whether it is accessories hats or bags and i got this in soho at you know the infamous store it's like always sold out but i happened to get it right um for my korea trip so i got it around like october september october of last year and I just really, really love the pop of red that I get with this hat. And I feel like just like all of their hat collections is worthy, but they do sell it really fast. So if you feel like you like one when you go visit the store, I think you should just get it. Because even if I want to link for you guys, this is not available. So now I kind of want to try out some of their more like bucket hats or other hat collections in different colors. I'm thinking the next one I get from them is either going to be a navy one or a green one. I'm still on the hunt to find a very nice navy cap because all the other navy caps I have, I have about 10 navy caps by day, are all like sports related or like from my college alma mater. And I think like I'm at the age where I don't really want to be wearing around like sports teams that I don't care for. <laughs> and my college because I don't want to be like flaunting I here I went here for college, you know. I just feel like I'm in a very different place in my life right now. Alright, that was another detour. <laughs> but speaking of Different parts of my life. This is something that I got around like eight years ago um, from Vineyard Vines and it's a, such a cute like summer pink hat. I Although I feel like this doesn't really fit my current aesthetic and style, but this was a hat that I got when I was very, very much into the whole like um, summer Cape Cod Vineyard Vines look, the polos, the Lily Pulitzer. There was a point in my life when I was very into that kind of aesthetic and it's no longer here with me and I'm not sure if it's gonna come back, but I did want to keep one just because it reminds me of my past. And honestly, I feel like everyone needs a pink cap and this pink cap, I just feel like it is a different aesthetic than my current aesthetic, but I feel like it still goes well with a lot of different outfits. So I think I'm going to keep this pink cap forever because why not? Speaking of pink caps, I do have one more right here. I got this gifted from a Korean brand. Like the, all of the products that they manufacture are like different like aspects of Korean or uh, language. Here it says 감사합니다 twice. And I really like, you know, these kinds of hats where it reminds me of my heritage, my language. And I just feel really proud walking around wearing something like this so that when someone asks, um, hey, what is that? up here and I say, oh, it's my, you know, language. It says, thank you. I'm Korean. And then that's a very good conversation starter. So I just feel like hat is a very, especially caps is a very good way to have a very 
good conversation starter. And a couple of years ago, I went to the finals for the Patriots game and my friend got me a Patriots cap. And it's such a nice, good fitting, high quality cap that I wore it around to everywhere. But then every time I wore it, I got comments like, oh my God, go Patriot, are you from Boston? All these questions. And I just kind of got tired at one point of answering these questions. Like, first of all, no, I'm not a Patriots fan. I'm not from Boston. I don't know why I have this cap. And then there was just like a very long story behind it. So I kind of stopped wearing that cap, even though that cap is one of the best quality caps that I do own. All right. I just feel like I'm getting into so many stories here. But that's kind of how I wanted to do this YouTube video, just keep it very casual, talk about different aspects of my life. And then we have a green cap here. This is from Balenciaga. I got it for my birthday gift last year by a dear friend. And I just feel like she knows me so well. You guys know green is one of my favorite colors. And this green just speaks to everything. It fits with literally every single outfit and every time I travel in the airport this is a cap I go with just because I feel like in the airport you kind of have to have the outfit where you look rich but you don't give off the impression that you're trying too hard so you know I'll just be wearing sweatpants but I will have this cap because it is Balenciaga so because it's a very casual kind of touch of I'm rich aesthetic, but without trying too hard. Oh, but there's also a funny story because I uh, sent my parents a picture of me wearing this recently and my dad was like, you can't wear green caps because apparently in China, if a woman wears a green hat, it means that they are cheating on their husband or have cheated on their husband. I, I don't know. It's like it comes from like the um, dynasties ago, but it's just something that still remains. So women aren't allowed to wear green caps. But regardless, I was really wearing it. Okay, so those are my five favorite caps. And then let's move on to my bucket hats. Can't forget the Prada bucket hat. I bought this last year and how many times have I worn this? I would wear this all the time in the summer and fall. Just like in the winter, I can't really wear it because it's nylon um, and I have to wear my beanies. But I love the fit of this and I feel like it was always you should wear it like this, but I've been seeing more models wear it like this online. So I don't know. I just still feel like it looks better like this, but maybe I'm just not stylish enough. So this is my favorite, favorite bucket hat in the world. I almost want to get it in like different colors, but yes, another airport hat that you can sport. Another bucket hat is from Ghani. Okay, this is like my favorite print ever. I love anything leopard. When I saw this hat online, I was like, I need this. But it was unfortunately sold out. So I had to like hunt through different websites and was on a waiting list. And somehow I got my hands on this. And you know what? It's going to be with me forever. The fit is uh, very similar to the Prada, but I feel like it's slightly bigger. The Prada is like, I got a size small, so it is a little bit tight but this one is slightly more roomier definitely a lot more lightweight maybe it's waterproof but the material is very lightweight and nice and i feel like it just goes really well with like a white t-shirt or even a black t-shirt um just very simple neutral looks but have a little bit of an accent and if you wear sunglasses with this like you look so good but this is from frankie's bikinis and i got it last summer it's actually really, really cute. It's a very nice like cherry um, hat and favorite fruit as an accessory is cherries. I love cherries in anything, my nails, my accessories, all of that. So I just felt like this is so me. And when people see this hat, like they'll understand it. Like, oh, that's Ava. But I know it doesn't really go with the current like black outfit that I have, but I did wear it in the summer where when I had like a pink crop top or like a white crop top, it just adds a really nice like cute touch of cuteness for the summer and it goes well with like a lot of the summer like pearly colorful accessories that you do have so you know what this is just like a really nice like summer beach hat that you can have so speaking of summer hats let's talk about some of my uh summer hats this one is from lack of color this was my favorite purchase of last year as you can see i need to wash it it's very very much worn i wore this everywhere just because also first of all like it's very big and roomy 
and I love the fact that it has this because every time I'm walking in New York City, somehow the wind blows and my hat runs away. It's like tied around like this so it doesn't like fall off. And it also looks so chic and cute while you have that. And a very good like sun protection hat because it kind of covers all areas of your face. I carry it to Palm Springs kind of all summer long. This is like truly my wor most worn hat of 2021 and probably this year as well and they do have other colors like blue and then like a pink print probably will be getting another print because this is just so comfy well fitting it looks really good um, with your bathing suit or your normal outfits another sun hat that i have is this one this is from soul bari it's an australian brand i believe and similarly it has like that little hook right here and this one is interesting because it has uv filters so it is able to block the sun blocks that are coming so um because it is able to reflect the sun rays that are coming in not only is it protecting your skin and from the sun but it also just keeps the entire head area very cool in the heat of the summer so it's a good like golf hat or outdoor activities when you're hiking outside and the sun is directly hitting your scalp not really good so this is like the perfect sun hat i love it so i got it for my my husband my father-in-law my mom like the whole family has this kind of sun hat comes in very handy you guys another one from the summer is a terry cloth one and i'm very much into terry cloth i want terry cloth in my makeup bag my hats um my bags too this one also very well worn as you can tell like i have an obsession for green things in all different kinds of shades so this is another terry cloth hat that i had and i actually wore this a lot in the summer and you guys may think i have a lot of hats but truly i wear a hat every single day you know winter summer especially in the summertime because i always want to protect my skin I will be wearing a hat every time you see me. This one was also a very good hat to go with a lot of my pastel outfits in the summer. And very good like a beach one to carry around with too. This one, oh my gosh, I just got back from Miami by the way. So this was one that I brought. I've had this for over 10 years. I've had this for over 10 years guys and it was one of the nicest things my mom bought for me in Korea I don't remember how much it was I think it was around like 80 bucks um, in Korea like this was 10 years ago so a long time but my mom was like you know what you just really need to have a nice like beach hat that you'll wear forever and I was like oh mom I don't need it she forced me to get it basically and she was right the perfect hat and every single time I wear this I get so so many compliments on where I get it asking me where I got it and I'm like it was from a random department store in Korea I don't even know it it is by the brand Metro City back then I had no idea what the brand is still don't really know but this hat is like the best purchase ever I kind of owe it to my mom because she was a fashion designer so she has a very good eye for fashion items Whenever she picks out something for me, it's one that I actually wear for the longest time instead of my impulse purchases. This is probably the best purchase I have in my entire hat collection. The next one is also another one that my mom um, got for me. We actually both have it. We got it at like the subway station in Korea for like, I think this is like less than 10 bucks. I think it was like eight bucks actually. And it's so convenient. Look at this, it folds up like this and then you can open it back up like that and then once you wear it look at this it kind of hides all surfaces of your face it cut it's very very comfortable with like a headband kind of style and another great hat to wear in the summertime like this wear black sunglasses like this and oh my god i'm so 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 happy with this purchase and i just can't believe how affordable this is i got another one for like my mother-in-law when i came back from korea but if you guys want one next time when i go to korea i'm probably gonna get more and do like a giveaway with this because i think everyone needs this in their life it's just so lightweight as well um okay Last category is going to be winter hats. I feel like I'm talking so much, but this is actually really fun. Speaking of another hat that my mom got for me, this is a hat that she got for me in China. No brand, no idea where she got it from. 
but it is cashmere and I love the pom-pom that she got for me right here she's obsessed with pom-poms by the way and it's very cute funny story behind this um, hat is I wore this on my first date with my current husband so this is like what five years ago and he later on told me he was like I really liked you in that hat like you look really good in that black hat so now because he said that this is like my lucky charm my lucky hat and i can never ever get rid of it i actually surprisingly didn't wear it that much um this winter because i had some other like hats that i was wearing but still it is super soft so once again thank you mom for getting me all the best quality hats this is the one that i wore the most this winter it's from montclair um another investment probably one of the most expensive ones that i have here but once again, with the pom-pom, it's super cute. It's very, very, very warm, guys. It will just warm up the entire ear and head area. Don't need earmuffs or anything. So love the white Montclair hat. And I also got a new white Montclair um, jacket last year at the outlets. And that this hat and that white puffer just goes well. I love it. This is one that I got from Revolve um, in the winter time. And I just felt like I was so bored with all of my like boring black parkas. So I wanted another hint of color. So this is a very pretty shade of pink. Have you seen a shade of pink this pretty? It's kind of more on the bigger side, but I kind of like it for the winter time when I just want to be covered up like this and I want it to hide up to my eyes. So I wear sunglasses underneath this and it's like the perfect shade of pink. By the way, this brand also has the cutest robes, blankets that is all made of this exact material. It's super soft and comfy. I get so many compliments when I wear this. And in the and in the winter when I just feel like I'm like really depressed from the weather, I put on a really like pop of color like this and it just instantly makes me feel better. Last one guys, and this one, this houndstooth hat. It is definitely on the smaller side, so very different from the earlier one, but because it's so tight fitting, it's never gonna come off my head. And for this kind of style of hat, I think it's better for me to go with like a smaller style because now people can actually see my face. It, I don't know, I really like it. And this is $19, guys. It was from H&M uh, this past winter and Every time I wear it, I get so many questions asked on Instagram. And I think this whole YouTube video was actually inspired by the questions that I got from this hat every time I wore it. So I wanted to make more of like a full YouTube video on my hat collection so I can look back on it. And these are all hats, honestly, that I'm going to be keeping for, you know, a while now. So I will be referring back to this video once again. Well, thank you so much for watching my hat collection video. I know this was a very different kind of video, but I honestly had so much fun talking about each of these hats, the memories I have behind each of these collections, and kind of like a new breath of air besides all the skincare and beauty that I talk about. So it's something that I definitely want to bring more into my YouTube channel going forward. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here below, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glow with Ava. Thank you guys.